All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Coin King video on YouTube. Be sure, guys, to hit that subscribe button, like my videos, all right? We are back for another episode. Um, the market is going insane right now, as you can see. I am on bitmarketdaily.com website right now. As you can see, that as far as the market cap goes, right? Look at that. The market cap is at five hundred and seventy-two billion. I thought it was six hundred earlier, but who cares, right? I mean, this is we're talking about half a trillion dollar market cap, right? This is going insane. The market is going nuts. Of course, I haven't been making uh, any videos for the past few days a week because. I am super excited about what's going on in the crypto market, and so have you. You know, if everyone out there who held on since 2017, 2018, 2019, congratulations to everybody, all right? It was all worth it. The party has not even started, just to let y'all know. The party has not even started yet, all right? I mean, we're about to go big on big, right? And that what the Migos said in one of their songs, big on big, all right? So anyway... Look at this, 24-hour market cap. You're looking at $271 uh, billion. Woo! And let's look at the top 10. As a matter of fact, should I even look at the top 10? Or just, uh, you know, just all of them, I guess? Or top 10? Or I don't know. Just, let's just take a look at the top 10. Bitcoin, 19,000. It was 19,400 earlier today. It's insane. Ethereum was at 620 yesterday at 603. XRP, 69 cents. This is insane. 69 cents? XRP was 25, 26 cents for like freaking almost two years to three years. It's ridiculous. Teeter or USDT, stablecoin, 99 cents. Bitcoin Cash, 343. Chainlink, 15 bucks. Litecoin, 88 bucks. Jeez, Litecoin's doing good. Cardano, whoa, Cardano creeping up at 16 cent, bringing market cap Cardano of 5 billion? Whoa, Polkadot creeping up. Cardano overshine Polkadot. How do you like them, Apple, huh? Cardano at 16 cents, Polkadot at 5.71. Binance coin, $33. Ooh, you know one other thing I missed right now out of all the top 10 that I like the most is that I wish I need to get some position in. As you know, I already have some Cardano and Ethereum and Bitcoin, of course. No XRP, no Chainlink, some Litecoin, Polkadot. Need I say mo? <laughs> right? Do I need to say any more? Polkadot. Polkadot has been one of my favorite projects I've been keeping an eye on. And I'm going to go ahead and say it right now as far as what the price of Polkadot is going to be in the next, I say, year, a year to two years. Polkadot going to be running at 50 to 100 bucks. And I think I'm an idiot for just drooling over 5 to $6 price range. I should actually just get a few of these and just add them up. I think there's a Voyager app that actually you can actually collect interest, like 5% interest in Polkadot, which is really fantastic, you know, 5%. Um, so I may, you know what? I may have to make an executive decision and grab me some polka dot. I don't know. Because this is the future. Polka dot, Ethereum, Cardano, all these are future. They're going to be two to five years. I'm talking about these are kind of like the thing that you're going to, you know, it's going to grow. Polka dot is just like Ethereum. It's from the founder of Ethereum, right? And, uh, wow. Hold on. Okay, well, anyway, I, I thought it was going to be a little quick synopsis on what's going on. Um, but uh, some of these descriptions don't look right. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I don't think this is right as far as description. Polkadot. Okay, Polkadot is a Ethereum, not Ethereum. Polkadot is its own blockchain, just like Ethereum. A lot of dApps and applications are being built on Polkadot. Um, so it's going to expand and grow and get bigger. All right, so... Um, I'm definitely need to be looking into, um, Polkadot more. 
But anyway, in this video is really not really about any particular crypto, but basically just the state of the market that I want to just go ahead and creep in and just talk about. Um, yes, we are in a tiny, tiny semi bull market. Okay, in 2017, we topped 870 billion. Right now, we're approaching close to 600. Probably actually at one time was at 600 already. But keep in mind that it's the pretty much, you know, not anything big or gigantic as far as a bull market as they call it. It's 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 a, it's a pre uh, bull market, right? Right now is just because all the project from 2017 and up right now, the one that you've seen or read about, they're still here. They're here for a reason. Because they are more mature, they're developing their project, a lot of adapts and application, more user case are being, um, you know, being, being used on these blockchains, right? And, uh, you know, with Bitcoin, PayPal coming into play, billionaires scooping up Bitcoin, uh, you know, uh, a micro strategy owning like half a billion or probably more. So you know it's a, it's it's a, it's a mature market now. So this calling this a like a bull market right now or full bull market is definitely not true. I think it's just a you know it's just a little tiny taste of what to come. I think twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. Now twenty twenty two it may be a dip year. That's what I'm thinking. If some people are talking about twenty twenty. It's the same thing as 2016 and then 2021 is 2017. And we know how that went as far as 2017, how everything shot up and just crashed. I don't think this time is going to crash like that. I think this time it has more, as far as, like I, like I said, more use case on some of these blockchains and projects. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's actually you being used in the real world, especially let's click on DeFi, right? Um, like in the DeFi market right now, DeFi is one of the hottest thing right now. That's being a lot of application are being built on, on the um, uh, on Ethereum blockchain. Hopefully, more will come to places like you know like Zelica and Nimic and you know the Polkadot uh, uh, blockchain. Um, but you look in the DeFi. I mean, look at all these DeFi. Chainlink is number one. Uh, Wrap Bitcoin. Uh, you know, you know Swap Ava. You're in finance. I mean, if you let me just scoot it up a little bit more. You can see these are DeFi project. I think 2020 and 2021, these are the DeFi project that I think is going to run like pretty big. Um, now, you had your chance to buy a lot of these project when it was actually surging like two or three months ago, and then it dumped on people and got people got afraid. I don't think, you know, it's going to do the same this time i think is actually it's kind of like an opportunity for you to buy at that dip i mean if you think about it right i mean even look look at this wan chan at 35 cent that's a true d5 okay kava a dollar 97 it's a steel band protocol seven dollars sushi swap was like seven oh actually 11 or 12 bucks at a dollar 34 and it's surging back up so there's a lot of use case for d5 project uh, you're in finance creeping back up. So I think 20, 2021 is going to be huge in DeFi. And, um, you know, and focus in, in, in looking into um, quality projects. Don't buy any bunch of garbage stuff. All right. And just be careful out there. All right. So, um, yeah, just when you get a chance, check out BitMarket Daily and then just go on to the, um, you know, their DeFi section and then um just check out um you know just read up on these different projects um so anyway i just want to make this quick video um just to discuss what's going on in the state market and you know i will probably make more videos the next few days um and we'll discuss some more of these d5 project anyway be sure to subscribe to my video and hit the like button all right guys until next time, peace.